Hey math students, today we're going to do a fast little uh, uh, look at everybody's favorite theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. Now what I want to look at today is a proof. It's my favorite proof of the Pythagorean theorem, which is Bhaskara's proof. Bhaskara was a, uh, an Indian mathematician who lived, I think, in the 12th century of the, current, of the common era, and uh, possibly the greatest Indian mathematician ever, and that's saying a lot. Uh, so here we go. In, in Bhaskara's proof, i got to tell you, uh, it was a one-word proof. All he said was, behold, and then he had these figures I'm about to show you. I can't really do it without talking, so I'm going to talk to you while we're doing it. So here we start with our right triangle, right? Here's A, here's B, here's C. You can flip around the A and the B. It doesn't matter. It's arbitrarily named, but I just call the short side A. And then we got our right angle right there. So what Bhaskara says is, let's... Uh, Let's draw three more triangles like this. So what you get is a square. And we know it's a square because this angle here and this angle here are complementary angles because they're the two non-right angles from a right triangle, right? So if they're complementary, well, this is the same as this. So that means these two together are complementary and they're gonna, uh, the measures are going to add up to be 90. So let's go ahead and put those... Uh, there we go. Now the, the uh, right angles are drawn in there. And so what you see is you have a square that is C, 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 right? So that means the area of that square is C squared. I hope we're all together so far. Uh, so now what can we do? Now we're going to take these two triangles here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and kind of flip it around here. We're going to take this one and kind of flip it around here. So, yeah, like that. So this triangle here went around to there. This triangle here flipped around to there. So what that means is it's, we still have two triangles here. So what that means is the area hasn't changed at all. Okay? I think everybody can agree with that. You still have this little yellow square in the middle and these four triangles. However, notice this side here is B. This side here is B, this side here is A, this side here is A plus B, okay? So what we can do is we can just uh, change the way that we're drawing our lines. And so this side, remember the bottom side was A plus B, but instead of having the A first and then the B, we're going to put the B first and then the A. And what do you end up with? You end up with a square that is B on all sides and a square here that is A on all sides. And what that means is the area has to be a squared plus b squared. And if the area is c squared and the area is a squared plus b squared, that means that a, player, a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. And there's the theorem. Pretty cool, huh? I think this, there are literally, I know dozens and possibly hundreds of proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. In my mind, this is the best one. Okay, see you later.